Jamie, thanks for coming today. Great to see you. If you could just give everybody an overview of uh, who you are, what your role is and what you do within Department for Work and Pensions. Currently Interim Head of Hybrid Cloud Services Operations, which is basically the operational availability of our private cloud platform and also our public cloud areas. So Jamie, if you could just explain you know, who your internal customer is and what are the service level expectations of you and your team? So our internal customer is the, the application teams that support the, the British public in the job centres and in this time of need is obviously at its highest. Absolutely, yeah. So even day to day before all of COVID and everything, the, the service expectations on my team is, is pretty high and we yes. have a 24 hour support team. Um, at the moment now, it's, it's, it's through the roof. Like we're, we're expected to respond within sort of 20 minutes okay. to, to an hour to get the services back and it affects sort of billion pounds worth of payments. If you could just explain some of the limitations of your earlier environment and infrastructure and uh, how those affected the, the, uh, the business. Yeah, so historically DWP's been with third party suppliers, so uh, it's a lot of legacy equipment that's been really costly to maintain. They don't make a lot of it anymore <laughs> yeah, for yeah, a yeah. start. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really insecure, costs a lot to run and things like that. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a good transformation. What are the biggest business challenges that uh, the department's facing today? Um, pretty much keeping up with demand. The transformation's full speed ahead now. So uh -huh. uh, we're delivering new services daily by the hundreds and things like that and keeping them cost effective. So right size, right place for them. So um, that flexibility of moving workloads around of the private cloud, the public cloud and the right platform for, for hosting that information. And what are some of the, the, the benefits that you found from moving to a hybrid cloud strategy? So the government sort of released this uh, cloud first strategy a while ago and by oh. cloud first they meant public cloud. Uh, and it really limited some of our workloads. So it, we, some of our workloads just can't go in public cloud yeah. and that's for uh, the security of the data that's in there, the latency of the application that needs to be talking to the private cloud services. Um, and some of the services just, they're not cost effective to go up there. So we, we need that flexibility within the organization to choose where we want to put our workloads. Would you say it's like cloud appropriate is probably a better phrase? Yeah, I, I mean, cloud appropriate, definitely. But I think just that we've got two clouds now. We've got a public and a private cloud and, and which one of those we choose depends on what kind of workload wants to go in there. Okay, brilliant, okay. Could you explain uh, about some of the other things you've been able to focus on since you've deployed the Nutanix hybrid cloud platform? Yeah, because the service availability of the platform is far greater than the previous <laughs> legacy platforms that we've got. It's yeah. meant that the guys can improve on um, the service and make sure it's available 24 seven. They can like focus on their development and training and. Um, deploying new solutions for the DWP. Could you just explain about some of your uh, vision for the future as where you see the, you know, the Nutanix cloud platform going within the department? So the department's really looking to bring public cloud services into our private cloud offering and doing that by enabling them within our Nutanix platform is what we're looking to do. So things like platform as a service, database as a service, Nutanix files and uh, we're looking at Carbon as a container solution at the moment as well. And as you know, Carbon is included as a, a no charge part of our software stack, just like our hypervisor had to get that one in. <laughs> yeah, and it's been great working with you guys so far as well, because it means that we've got it in our labs already. The, the, the reps that we've had have, have talked us through some of the options for what we're Brilliant. going to be doing with it. Good, okay. Jamie, can I just say thank you so much for your time this afternoon. It's been, you know, it's been a, a, a pleasure working with you and it's been a pleasure working with the you know, Department for Work and Pensions. You really are a great customer, so thank you, appreciate it. Thank you very much for inviting me.